starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Here. There's someone in the barn, a great big guy. How do you know? I saw his shadow. Now, hold on now. Hold on a minute. Where's Lassie? She's in the barn, too. That's what I'm worried about. She stopped barking. Maybe he killed her. Oh, now, don't say such things. Uh, wait a minute. Where's the big flashlight? Hanging over there in the corner. You stay here. I'll do no such thing. Hurt you, love. She's wagging her tail at you. Do you know who he is? Uh, what's your name? I said, what's your name? Oh, now, please don't be afraid, dear. All, all we're trying to do is help you. Won't you tell me your name? Well, I'm Jeff Miller. That's my dog, Lassie. into the house and uh, fix something to eat. Are you hungry? Um, you come along with me. Huh? Come on. Well, she likes you. Lassie, sit. Shake hands. She won't hurt you. Go ahead. She's smart. If you tell her your name, she'll remember it. Well, you don't have to tell her if you don't want to. She'll still be friends. 
I smell scrambled eggs. My mom makes real good scrambled eggs. Hot buttered toast, too. I'll have Lassie take you to the kitchen. That's one of her best tricks. Lassie, take him to the kitchen, girl. Go on. Come on. Jeff's making up the bed in the spare room. I'll call the sheriff. Should we undress him? That might waken him. Just take his shoes off. Jenny, Ellen Miller. Oh, honey, I'm terribly sorry about wakening you, but I wonder if you'd ring Sheriff Billings for me. No, no, nothing serious. Thank you, dear. Uh-huh. I see. I, I'm just sure he isn't a local child, Jim. And it's just possible he, he can't talk. Well, have you any report on a missing child? No, I haven't, but I'll check with the state police right away and call you back. In any case, the best thing you can do is get in touch with the Child Welfare Agency in Capital City, first thing in the morning. All right, fine. Good night. Is he asleep? Yeah, he'll sleep the night and half the day tomorrow, likely. <laughs> Heard anything from the sheriff? Jim's checking with the state police. He'll call back if they know anything. You two better go on to bed. I'll wait up. That's right. There's no sense in us all waking up to hear the phone. I'll get it. Hello? Just a minute. It's the sheriff. Oh, thanks, honey. Yes, Jim. Oh, I see. Oh, well, certainly I'll do that. All right, Jim, thanks again. Good night. Well, the state police have no report. Oh, honey, close that back door, would you please? Well, what's to be done? Well, whatever's to be done will have to be done in the morning. Come on, honey. Mm. aren't up yet, but I can make breakfast. What would you like? I know you can talk. I heard you talking to Lassie. Maybe you'd like cereal instead of eggs. I can even make flapjacks. Do you like flapjacks with real maple syrup? Yes. 
car. Come on, I'll show you where you can get cleaned up while I get dressed. That's all right. Go on. How are they? Good. My mom taught me how to make them so I can cook when we go camping. Did you ever go camping? Oh, wouldn't your mom and dad let you? I haven't got any mother or father. Well, whose farm do you live on? My uncle did. Who said I lived on a farm? Well, that's all there is around here. Who said I lived around here? I didn't say it. Well, where is your Uncle Jed's farm? No place. Oh, it must be around here. You couldn't walk far. I did, too. I came all the way from Olive Bridge, and that's way past Capital City. Olive Bridge. Well, that's pretty good, all right. Is your Uncle Jed, uh, Martin? No, his name's Clausen. Jed Clausen. Oh, yeah, I think I heard of him. He's supposed to be the meanest guy in the county. No wonder you ran away. That isn't true, you right. No, I just say it. Well, why did you run away, then? I just had to. I guess everybody who runs away thinks he has a good reason. I do. Dad, what are you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Gramps. Well, who made breakfast? I did. Slapjacks. Well, the age of miracles come at last. But were they any good? Well, what do you mean? Were they? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, Mom, I think I left my baseball mitt in my room. Would you help me look for it? Well, now, if you put it away, you can certainly... Uh, oh, uh, yes, of course, honey. I'd like very much to talk with you. Will you wait for me, please? Yes, ma'am. I'll be right back. Oh, Lassie, you better stay here. Well, Jeff found his mitt, so as soon as he does his chores, you two can go out and play. I can't stay here. Oh, of course you can. Uh, Jeff, all you and Lassie really have to do is go and collect the eggs. Okay, Mom. Come on, girl. tells me that you have an uncle who's named Jed Clausen, and that you live on a farm near uh, Olive Bridge. Well, as long as we know all of that about you, it can't do any harm to know your name, can it? It's Timmy. Timmy? Oh, that's short for Timothy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But that's a nice name. Do you have an aunt, too? Aunt Abby. Oh? Timmy, I'm come here. I'm sure you know that your aunt and uncle must be very unhappy about you having run away. And you must have been very unhappy, too, to do it. I don't want you to tell me about it now, but if you'll trust me, well, you can stay here for a while and maybe I can help. I'd like to stay. Eeyaki! What's that? Oh, <laughs> that's Porky, Jeff's friend. I think you'd like him. I do. Why don't you go out and play with him? Gee, thanks. <laughs> okay, this one's for you, Jeff. Here you go, Timmy. You gotta stay on your toes every minute now, Tim. Okay. Okay, now this one's for you. I'm warning you, Ellen, you're heading for a peck of trouble when you keep putting off taking that boy back to his kinfolk. Well, I'm going to call the welfare agency right now. What are you calling them for? You talked to the boy's aunt this morning. She knows he's here. So all you got to do is take him back, that's all. Don't you see? Because oh, if now, you don't... Oh, just admit, listen to me. In the first place, the, the aunt didn't seem terribly concerned about Timmy. Oh, you know, she thanked me all right, but I've got the impression that she didn't particularly care whether Timmy got back today, tomorrow, or next week. Well, you can't get nothing over the phone. Furthermore, this child trusts us, and I'm not going to do anything to break that trust. Above all, I'm not going to send him back to a home where he's being mistreated. 
How do you know he's mistreated? You know you're talking kind of foolish, Ellen. Well, maybe I am, but... I don't know. It just seems like the whole situation is bad. I want to meet the uncle and the aunt, and not at their place. That's why I'm calling the welfare agency. Are you ready? Oh, yes, I spoke with his aunt earlier this morning. Yes, I know that, but I'd be glad to drive in if you can arrange for his aunt and uncle to be at your office. Come on, Timmy. I'd like to talk with them. Oh, good, that'll be fine. Thank you very much, Miss Bogart. Goodbye. Oh, come on, Timmy. Hurry up. Timothy's my youngest sister's boy. When they... Uh, when the accident happened, we took him in. He didn't have no other family. It ain't no kind of a life for a boy on our place. It's too lonesome with just us. The Clausens have no children. I've been ailing, and Jed's had the housework to do on top of the farming and all. I guess maybe we're both too old to start having children around. We don't rightly know what to do to make him happy. We try, but there ain't much of the day or our strength left when we get around to it. And what with Abby feeling poorly and... I understand. Well, the, the boy didn't run away on, on account of we treated him bad. Oh, no. He did it for us. He told me so himself. He said he wasn't earning his keep. I told him that didn't make a speck of difference, but he's a prideful one. Yes, I know. I, I wonder if it would help any if, if maybe Timmy stayed with us for the summer. I, I mean, would it be possible, Miss Bovar? Well, that would be up to Mr. and Mrs. Clausen. Oh, we'd like very much to have him. My son, Jeff, is a few years older, but there are children his age in the neighborhood. Whatever's best for the boy. I'm going away and you can't come with me, so don't follow me. I guess I can't stop you if you want to come along. At least I won't be alone. Timmy! Timmy! <laughs> He's not in the barn. Timmy! Oh, Jeff, how could you do a thing like this? I didn't do it, Mom. Griff's over working on the pickup. He was supposed to be taking a nap. Well, there ain't no sign of him. Well, this is terrible. Now, there ain't no sense in getting upset about it. He can't have gone far. Where's Lassie? She's gone, too. Hey, you see, Lassie's probably with him, so it's all right, ain't it? There ain't nothing to worry about. What do you mean, there's nothing to worry about? That child is our responsibility. Oh. Jeff, where do you think they would have gone? We would have seen them if they went past the barn. They probably went past the house, into the North Woods. Well, come on. I got good news for you anyhow. You're gonna stay with us all summer. I am? Mom fixed it up. Gee. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, 
Jimmy. Jimmy, you scared me so. He's all right, Mom. I told him about staying with us. Is it true? Yes, darling, it's true. Hop on, Tim. Give me a piggyback ride home. There you go. 